Yeah, I really like the one in gym pack. I wish I had the long anvil, but they hadn't made it yet, so I just got the the short anvil. I've used it to change a few tires. It's pretty nice. How I tore up the tires here was I, it was winter time and the brakes were locked and I dragged them down the gravel road trying to get them to unlock and it took the spot out of the middle of them. And they were running two different brands of tires on the, this one side and this one was a hand cook and it was a lot a lot harder to get the bead to break on it and harder to get it off. And pouring it on is a whole lot easier than brushing it on. So I bought this tire tool off of Amazon several years ago. I've used it quite a bit. It's actually really nice. I, I don't always struggle this hard with it. It's been I, it's normally pretty easy. But if I can figure it out, I'll leave a link in the description. 
but if there's not a link in the description, it means I can't figure I couldn't figure out how to get it in there. I got some ten and a half ounce balancing a uh, bag of balancing beads here. I don't know if that's the appropriate size for that, but
Okay, somewhere on here there's a red, little red dot. The yellow one's gone off of this tire. They say the red supersedes the yellow anyway, so. And from what I understand, the red one goes on the valve stem. The yellow one is down here on one tire and it was kind of close to the red one on another, but anyway. Put the red dot on the valve stem. And another 10 ounce pack of balancing beads. 10 and a half. If there's anybody out there that knows what the right weight is for the right tire, you'll have to let me know. So it's just my best guess.
The heads on these are mashed over and twisted, so I just bought all new bolts and nuts.